Hi guys, today we're going to be taking off the brake lines and the fuel lines and also the combination valve on the car. This is the combination valve. We've taken out the engine, but you may not need to do that. It, we have disconnected it from the wall and there are four lines that we will need to disconnect. And to disconnect them, use your wrench, put, connect it, and go the right way. When you're disconnecting anything, always go counterclockwise to loosen. Once the brake line is secure, we can take it off and move on to the next one. We're now taking off the second one. And once it's loose enough, you may be able to use your hands. Now that we've taken it off, we're gonna continue onto the brake lines and work underneath the car. All right, we're gonna be taking off these clips. Under the car, which is all of the brake lines and fuel lines. Way to keep these clips intact, you will need to replace them if you are ever replacing your fuel lines. Some of these may be in tricky positions, so you may have to remove other parts to get to these. These two lines are fuel lines and the brakes continue, so you may run into smaller clips that hold the brake lines also. These are the two brake lines. One goes to this brake over here, which we've taken off, and this one goes to the brake over here. These are both drum brakes. This is the back of the car. Hi guys, we're going to need to take out this clip to get a line wrench in here to disconnect this and eventually disconnect all of the lines. This is a clip that uses friction to keep this steady. And now that we've taken it out, we can take this out as soon as we disconnect it with a line wrench. Now that we've disconnected this, now we can pull this out and continue on. We're going to be taking this off next, which is connecting these and all the way down. As you can see, we've already disconnected this part. Now that we've taken this out, we'll move on to the cables over here and take it out of here. And now that it's disconnected, we can move on and unclip this. Now, because we've disconnected it, now we can just pull it out. Done. Now the tubing has been disconnected and we can get on. We're taking off more parts. These are the tools we use to take off the cables. We used a hammer, a medium sized pry bar, some needle nose pliers, some linesman pliers, a 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter ratchet and socket. 